Hello and welcome to this Oaks Baptist Church service on Sunday the 29th of November. If this is your first week or you've been following us for a few weeks now, you're really welcome and thank you very much for joining us. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Llewellyn and I'm just a member of the church here at Oaks. Um, everything you're going to need today for today's service, the words to the songs and the reading will come upon your screens. Um, and if you need prayer, then at the end of our service, there'll be a contact email uh, address so that we can pray for you and with you. And that would be our privilege. So today is the first of four Sundays in Advent. Now, Advent is traditionally in the church's calendar where there's a sort of countdown towards Christmas Day and all of its celebrations and festivities. But for Christians, it has a special significance. We believe that, yes, Jesus came uh, to earth um, for us and to save us over 2000 years ago. But um, more importantly than that, we believe that Jesus is going to come back. He's going to return. And Advent is often a time when we reflect on how we can prepare ourselves for his return um, when he returns in glory, as the Bible tells us. Um, so as we start this Advent journey together, I have a question for you. Are you a morning person? Are you someone who, when the alarm goes off, springs out of bed, fully awake and charged up for the day ahead? Or are you anyone like me, <laughs> who finds mornings really hard and unable to string a sentence together until that first cup of morning coffee? Well, recently, we've all had reasons for having uh, sleepless nights and even longer, tiring days, more than just how you've woken up in the morning. This pandemic has uh, made most of us really think very hard about our work, our children, our families, our health, money, uh, how are we going to survive uh, beyond Brexit? Lots of things that we have on our mind that are huge concerns and keep us up at night. Well, today's reading has something to say to us, even with all of these things which are legitimate distractions and, and worries that are weighing in on us. Part of today's reading says this. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber. And it goes on. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. Now, that sounds pretty urgent to me. It's more than just a noisy alarm. It's a real wake up, get out of bed, get washed, get dressed, get caffeinated. I have something to tell you says God. And we do well to listen to that, don't you think? It's quite an urgent call for all of us. And so whoever you are at the beginning of this Advent journey together, whether you would call yourself a Christian or not, the invitation is the same. Let's sit up, wake up and really pay attention to what God is saying to us right now and today. So to kick things off, I'm going to pray for us and lead us in prayer. I usually close my eyes when I pray so that I can concentrate and that I won't be distracted. I invite you to do the same. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that wherever we are in the UK or around the world, that you are here with us. Thank you that you love to speak to us, that you love to speak into our lives. Father, please, will you help us to wake up, to stay up and to stay attention, stay paying attention to you and what you have to say to us today. Lord, by your spirit, would you help us 
to really concentrate on that. Uh, and we ask this because we want Jesus to take centre stage. We want him to be glorified in our lives today and for the rest of the week and for the rest of our lives. So we ask this in his precious name. Amen.